In this video, I'm going to be constructing a custom flagpole mount for my King Tailgater 3 satellite antenna. And for this project, I'm repurposing a Harbor Freight flagpole. And this flagpole quit working uh, a year ago or so, so I might as well repurpose it. Top section, two middle sections, and the bottom section. And I've removed the bottom and the top, and I'm going to use the two middle sections. And the bottom section, anyway, uh, had failed after about a year so I just had it laying around and I might as well use it because if I bought two pieces of aluminum like this it would cost around $100 and you can go out and buy a brand new Harbor Freight flagpole for about 50 so even if you have to buy a new one your money head. And the problem with these flagpoles is the twist to lock mechanisms tend to go bad so you can put just a muffler clamp kind of like I did here so you can raise it up and then lock it or you can put a little pin in there and just drill the hole through. You know, there's a couple ways you can keep this thing from failing. And this is a base that you might be familiar with as a lot of the RV and boat tables have a base like this. And so what I'm going to do is set this in like that and then I'm going to pour epoxy around it and the epoxy should hold that really well. And I have some fiberglass cloth that I'm going to wrap this in and get it to the diameter of this and then it'll make a snug fit. And I put duct tape on the bottom of it because otherwise it's going to leak through. And there we go, we got the thing wrapped on the end and I found using a little bit of spray adhesive helps hold it together. So now we're going to twist that into here. And the next step is I Gorilla taped this flagpole mast to my drill press table and then also to the floor and I put a level on here to get it all lined up and everything and then I put a couple pieces of duct tape to hold everything square and now I'm just going to pour the epoxy in this little gap here. And one of the reasons I'm using this gun here is that it mixes the epoxy in this tube so there's no muss. All you do is just point it and squirt it. Just like that. And this is what it looks like after I put epoxy on it and uh, got it all the way around. And on the underside, initially the epoxy did not all seep through here. And so when it was dry on the bottom, I added some to the top. So there may be a void or two in here. And probably the way that I should have done is maybe not wrapped it quite as tight. And then the epoxy should wick all the way through. You know, it's not going anywhere. This thing is really on tight. And as a final addition, I have just a two inch hole plug. It just fits in here. There we go. Kind of gives it a nice finished off look. And if we look in the satellite bag, I also built a base here. And this has the footprint of the satellite antenna on it. These are the six screw holes that hold the flange uh, on the mast. And on the bottom side, of course I put N for north. And these you probably won't put on. I got these from leftover parts. But, you know, we have these little quick disconnect counter pins. And this is made out of PVC plastic, 1 8 inch thick. And it's pretty hefty. I mean, I think it'll hold the satellite okay. And then finally a couple pad eyes here for the cable. And there really is no need for a dimension drawing for this. Basically, you just set the satellite dish on and then trace around it. And that gives you the outline. When I was a young guy just starting out in the career field, one of my first design projects was to design an antenna mount that could be assembled without any tools. And I'm not a mechanical engineer, so you know I struggled through that a little bit. But this kind of reminds me of that. In our bag, we've got these things called hurricane bolts, sometimes called sidewalk bolts, and they have a similar one called an elevator bolt, except an elevator bolt usually does not have a Phillips head screw like this, and I would get these if you could because these are stainless. And like most of my projects, I've got a website that shows where I got all this stuff. And you can actually assemble this with just three of these bolts, however I'm using six because if you lose one, you got five left. One of these elevator bolts, just hold it at an angle and sometimes it helps to have somebody help hold the other end of the mast. 
and then the, these just tighten on here. The concept of being toolless may be more just kind of an idea rather than an actual practice because we're going to just, uh, once we get all these on, go around and just give them a real quick tightening. We've just snugged everything together. And the base of the satellite has four holes here, 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 and there. And they accept 3 16 inch diameter hardware. And these are clevis pins. And it's really hard to find the 3 16 inch ones. So you may decide to drill these out to a quarter inch. Because you can find those all over. And bimini tops for boats and things. All that hardware, they all use quarter inch. But if you drill those out, I would recommend this void here is pouring out full of that black epoxy like we did the top. And then when you drill that out, you won't weaken it any. And I'm going to use these 3 16 inch ones. And so the way these work is, again, keeping with our theme of no tools, as they go in like that, and then the base fits on just like that, and then we use these little counter pin things and push them until they lock. If I lose one, as you see, I've got two here on this end, and so I'll just only put one on this end. So this is almost kind of like having a built-in spare. And then this one, of course, will lock here like that. And again, we turn it around. Again, this helps if you have somebody holding the other end of the mast. And I suppose you could just store this like this and just use hardware instead of these. You know, if you got the room, but I wanted to be able to store this in as small as a package as possible. And so the next step would be to put the coax on. And the coax is actually here. And you can see I didn't line these up with the coax because I want to be able to bring it out gracefully and go through here like this. And these particular pad eyes that I have allow the coax to fit through. And they do. And this here is a Velcro cable tie. And we're just going to put it right here on the mast. And these are flagpole mount 2.0 from Flagpole Buddy. You've got one at the bottom and one at the top. Uh, and so it's connected to the ladder. And that's all there is to it. And we can pan down here. And then we're going to put a couple safety straps on it and stuff. And then we'll show you how that works. And we just have a couple of little uh, Velcro strip thing with a bungee cord on there. So just to kind of help hold it if, if this mount comes undone. And then the bottom, just another bungee cord going down to the frame to help keep this from coming out. And since this mast completely disassembles, then it fits in my storage compartment so much easier.